Ezra 8. These are the heads of their fathers' houses, and this is the genealogy of those who went up with me from Babylonia in the reign of Artaxerxes the king. Of the sons of Phinehas, Gershom. Of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel. Of the sons of David, Hattish. Of the sons of Shechaniah, who was of the sons of Perish, Zechariah, with whom were registered 150 men. Of the sons of Paeth Moab, Eliah Hoenai, the son of Zerahiah, and with him 200 men. Of the sons of Zatu, Shechaniah, the son of Jehaziel, and with him 300 men. Of the sons of Aden, Ebed, the son of Jonathan, and with him 50 men. Of the sons of Elam, Jeshiah, the son of Athaliah, and with him 70 men. Of the sons of Shephatiah, Zebediah, the son of Michael, and with him 80 men. Of the sons of Joab, Obadiah, the son of Jehiel, and with him 218 men. Of the sons of Bani, Shelemeth, the son of Josephiah, and with him 160 men. Of the sons of Bebai, Zechariah, the son of Bebai, and with him 28 men. Of the sons of Asgad, Johanan, the son of Hakatan, and with him 110 men. Of the sons of Adonikim, those who came later, their names being Eliphalet, Jehuel, and Shemaiah, and with them 60 men. Of the sons of Bigvi, Uthai and Zachar, and with them 70 men. I gathered them to the river that runs to Ahava, and there we camped three days. As I reviewed the people and the priests, I found there none of the sons of Levi. Then I sent for Eliezer, Ariel, Shemaiah, Elnathan, Jerob, Elnathan, Nathan, Zechariah, and Meshulam, leading men, and for Joyarib and Elnathan, who were men of insight, and sent them to Iddo, the leading man at the place Cassiphia, telling them what to say to Iddo and his brothers and the temple servants at the place Cassiphia, namely, to send us ministers for the house of our God. And by the good hand of our God on us, they brought us a man of discretion of the sons of Malai, the son of Levi, son of Israel, namely Sherebiah, with his sons and kinsmen, eighteen, also Hashabiah, and with him Jeshiah, of the sons of Merari, with his kinsmen and their sons, twenty. Besides two hundred twenty of the temple servants, whom David and his officials had set apart to attend the Levites, these were all mentioned by name. Then I proclaimed a fast there, at the river Ahava, that we might humble ourselves before our God, to seek from him a safe journey for ourselves, our children, and all our goods. For I was ashamed to ask the king for a band of soldiers and horsemen to protect us against the enemy in our way, since we had told the king, The hand of our God is for good on all who seek him, and the power of his wrath is against all who forsake him. So we fasted and implored our God for this, and he listened to our entreaty. Then I set apart twelve of the leading priests, Sherebiah, Hashabiah, and ten of their kinsmen with them. And I weighed out to them the silver and the gold and the vessels, the offering for the house of our God, that the king and his counselors and his lords and all Israel there present had offered. I weighed out into their hands six hundred fifty talents of silver, and silver vessels worth two hundred talents, and one hundred talents of gold, Twenty bowls of gold worth one thousand derricks, and two vessels of fine bright bronze as precious as gold. And I said to them, You are holy to the Lord, and the vessels are holy, and the silver and the gold are a free will offering to the Lord, the God of your fathers. Guard them and keep them until you weigh them before the chief priests and the Levites and the heads of fathers' houses in Israel at Jerusalem within the chambers of the house of the Lord. So the priests and the Levites took over the weight of the silver and the gold and the vessels to bring them to Jerusalem, to the house of our God. Then we departed from the river Ahava on the twelfth day of the first month to go to Jerusalem. 
The hand of our God was on us, and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy and from ambushes by the way. We came to Jerusalem, and there we remained three days. On the fourth day, within the house of our God, the silver and the gold and the vessels were weighed into the hands of Merimoth, the priest, son of Uriah. And with him was Eleazar, the son of Phinehas. And with them were the Levites, Josabad, the son of Jeshua, and Noadiah, the son of Benui. The whole was counted and weighed, and the weight of everything was recorded. At that time those who had come from captivity, the returned exiles, offered burnt offerings to the God of Israel, twelve bulls for all Israel, ninety-six rams, seventy-seven lambs, and as a sin offering, twelve male goats. All of this was a burnt offering to the Lord. They also delivered the king's commissions to the king's satraps, and to the governors of the province beyond the river, and they aided the people in the house of God.